Welcome back, everyone. NSA leaker Edward Snowden speaking out this morning. He says he remains, quote, free and able to publish information that serves the public interest. But could he be in the middle of the Obama administration's battle against whistleblowers? Earlier on Fox and Friends, you spoke to Glenn Greenwald. Yep. So why don't you pick it up from yeah, there? Yeah, he joined us. He's a reporter at The Guardian who broke the story wide open. Listen. They don't care about Edward Snowden at this point. He can no longer do anything that, that he hasn't already done. What they care about is making an extremely negative example out of him to intimidate future whistleblowers from coming forward because they'll think that they're going to end up like him. Joining us now, Fox News legal analyst Peter Johnson, Jr. Peter, you watched the interview. Your thoughts? It was an excellent interview. You know, I, I think Mr. Greenwald has it a little bit mixed up. Um, yeah, I do think the Obama administration, the government is trying to make an example out of Mr. Snowden because I believe that he broke the law. I believe that he engaged in a violation of the Espionage Act. And so it's appropriate to make an example out of him. The issue becomes, is Mr. Greenwald an advocacy journalist? It appears that he is. Now, if he's an advocacy journalist, then we have to examine everything that he's done with regard to this case. If he's merely a reporter and taking documents and saying, this is what I think the world should see, that's one thing. But when he becomes kind of an advocate and almost a flack, uh, the alter ego uh, for the media, for Mr. Snowden, who's incommunicado in a Russian hotel in the airport, then transparency should become uh, the issue. What do we know about Mr. Greenwald's role in but, terms of being in Hong Kong? But what if he's bringing out things that may be violating the Constitution? Or I'll give you another example. What if, yeah. what if he has information that would lead to what went on in Benghazi? Should he not leak that if well, that was uh, considered it, sensitive? It has nothing to do with Benghazi. And you and I both are against violations of the Constitution. And we can waive the Constitution all that we want. And I waive it with you whenever you, you, you waive it. But that is not a defense or a rationale for breaking the law. Exactly. Now, we also have to understand that Mr. Greenwald has been involved with the WikiLeaks. And we have to understand that there is testimony now that al-Qaeda was relying on the WikiLeaks leak. In fact, there was testimony that Osama bin Laden said, get me the WikiLeaks right. material for my own use. Which is what so many people were concerned about when this story broke was, how will this affect our national security and our fight against the war on terror? But I need to ask you this before sure. we run out of time. Yeah. There were other news outlets who decided not to publish this information. Sure. So does that make Glenn Greenwald even more of an advocate in your mind? Oh, I think he's, I think he's an advocate for his particular position. And he, and he articulates it time and time again. It's an anti-government position that we're all getting screwed over by the government, that there's on us, and I think he went beyond the line in some of the things that he was saying. It's not ab ab absolutely uh, accurate. There is an obligation for the American press, and he calls himself a part of the American advocacy press. Do we put American interests above putting out a story? And I think that is a concern and a balance that all journalists, whether they're advocacy journalists or not, have to meet and understand. If the Constitution comes first, and the government and our country comes first, and yep. the people come first. Go. Are we doing harm? Thanks, Peter. Good to see you.